Okay, we're going to look at 2018. So we have the two questions here, one from the very front, first front of the paper and the very last question. So question 1a, it says solve 4x minus 1 greater than 5. So I'm going to do it through graphs as normal. So I'm going to look at sketching y equals 4x minus 1. That's your y equals x graph. So 4x is just much steeper. And the minus 1, you just drop it down 1. So minus 1 and y equals 4x minus 1. I want to module the whole graph. So anything that is in beneath the axis, I reflect up. I'm just going to find this here point. So if y is 0, 4x minus 1 is 0, so x is a quarter. You don't necessarily need to find that point, but it's just good practice. And that's now 1. The other side of the inequality is 5. Now, for this one, when I am removing the modulus, this is on the negative. This has, this has been negative. So whenever you remove the modulus, you must put the negative in. This side was always positive in the original graph, so whenever you're removing the modulus, just keep it positive. So minus 4x add 1 equals 5, 4x equals 6, so um, rearranging that, minus 4 is 4x, x is 1.5, so x is minus 1. Now the graph wants when is the modulus graph above 5, so modulus graph is above 5 on this side, so x is greater than 1.5, and to the left here, so x is less than minus 1. Now, the next question is question 8, B, the very last part. Now, it's quite tricky. This question, so I have to think carefully as we work our way through this one. It sketched the graph of y equals log x minus 1. So, first of all, I'm going to start off with the uh, basic form of the exponential graph. Reflect it in the line y equals x to get the log graph. I am inside the bracket, so I do the opposite. So I'm going to move this graph forward one place. So it's now going to asymptote against this line and go through here. Now, we need to have we think at this stage because what happens on this side? I want you to think of it as here point. So if you had uh, x equals 2 and you put it in, you get log 2 minus 1, which is log 1. If I put in x equals 0 into that, I get log 0 minus 1, so log, the positive that's 1, I get the same answer. So 0 gives me the same answer as the 2. I'm going to try a different one. Let's say x is 3, so log is 3 minus 1, which is log 2. And let's say, just keep working down this side, x is minus 1. So log is minus 1, minus 1. So log minus 2, which is log 2 when you module it. So basically we've got reflection here. And that's our graph. 